Uh, it's probably shot in a zoo. By the way, I'm going to uh, link in the description below this image plus the background that I'm going to be uh, adding to it in a composite. So we're going to start out in Photoshop, send it into Topaz Mask AI. This is going to be fast, simple. We're doing all the compositing right inside of Mask AI. We're going to blur the background. We're going to adjust it, make it look like it fits in the background. Let me show you how fast and easy this is. Without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting out here in Photoshop. All I need to do is come up here to Filter. I don't even have to duplicate the background layer because Mask AI does it for me. We're going to go ahead and launch uh, Topaz Mask AI and we'll get masking here. Now the first thing I'm going to try is the Auto Detect subject right here. And it doesn't do such a good job because it really doesn't know what I want. So let me go ahead and undo that. Now I'm just going to paint really quickly. I'm just using my Wacom pen and tablet here make my brush size a little smaller and mask AI works at the tri map system. So right now I'm painting with blue. This is a compute brush. So the areas that I paint on the edges, this is where mask AI has to do its computations. And this is where the hard part comes for mask AI. So I just have to find all the edges of things and just paint them in like so. And this is pretty quick. Let's paint around my little koala on this tree right here. Painting around. The green area will be the keep area. So anything in green will be keep. Anything in blue will be compute. And then I'll use red as a cut color. Okay, so I think I got everything. I missed a little spot right here. All right, so now what I need to do is come over to the toolbar and get my cut a uh, bucket here, click one time here, click one time here, and click right here. And then I'll just click compute and it will compute the mask. And here is my computed mask. Now I'm going to replace the background here and I'm going to do it right here inside of Topaz Mask AI. So we're going to come over here and click on background, click on image, click load image, and that opens up my file browser. Then I have an image picked right here. And I'll click open and you'll see that image goes behind my koala bear. And now what I need to do is click on transform because I need to transform this. I'll make the canvas a little bit smaller here and just uh, drag on this little dot right here, the little circle here. And you can transform this to any size you want. Okay, so I'm just going to do something maybe like so like maybe right there it looks good and then just click uh now you could flip it horizontally or flip it vertically whatever you need to do now the light is coming from the left and that's the way the light's coming in on the koala so everything is good if it if it was opposite i would uh click uh flip horizontal and it would flip it the opposite direction okay so that's what that's for and now all I need to do is click transform. And now I see my two images side by side here. I like to go to a single view. So let me just click view one pane and then come up here. See this little icon right here. Give this a click and go to keep. And there we go. And now you can see my background on my koala is cut out in the foreground here. Now we'll make some adjustments here. And this is where the uh, really cool part of uh, Topaz Mask AI comes in when you're doing uh, composites right inside of Mask AI. Now, if we come up to this icon right here uh, with a little apple, give that a click. And you have different ways of viewing this uh, image here. So let's go to the mask view. You can see my mask and uh, the beautiful job that it did to cut it out. Now it missed a few little spots like right here and maybe on his on his claws right here. So what I can do there is just get a brush, like a keep brush tool here. I'll make it a little bit smaller and just give it a little paint right there and watch it'll just clean itself right up right there. Let's come back up and click on this icon and go back to keep. And now let's work on the background here. So we're on background. See where it says adjust, you have background. If you click this drop down menu, you also have foreground, but we're gonna start with the background. Uh, first off, I need to blur this background because you can see the front of this um, tree that the koala is resting on here is a little bit out of focus. So definitely that background would have to be out of focus. So let's start to blur out the background. Let's start out around there and we'll, we'll keep working with it as we go. Now, I think the background's too light, so I'm going to darken up the background a little bit. Let's start out with maybe somewhere 
right around here. And uh, there's a lot of warmth on this tree right here. So let's warm up that background, take the temperature and move it to the right. This is the really cool part about uh, Mask AI, where you've got all these different controls in here to marry these two images together. Now, there's a lot of greenery from the background. So let's add, let's shift the tint more towards the green side. Whoops, actually, I don't want to do it here. I want to go, I want to move this to the foreground now. And I'm going to shift the tint on the Koala to a little bit to the green side. So let me just take the tint and move it a little bit to the left. See, if I move it a whole lot to the left, it'll go all green. That's way too much. I just want a little slight amount of green tint on the Koala, just to marry him into the image, okay? And I think I want to uh, take the exposure down on the Koala. I think he's a little bit too light. So let's darken him up a little bit. Yeah. You know, and take your time when you're doing something like this. I'm doing this really quick, but, you know, you really want things to, to look right. But you get the idea. I'm not going to go too crazy here. I might pull the contrast back on the qual a little bit. That's too much. Maybe maybe somewhere around in there. And let me, um, let me take the temperature and move it a little bit to the left. Now, if I move the temperature to the right, it'll warm up the koala. But if I move it to the left, it'll cool him down a little bit. So I just want to cool him down, not too much, but just a very, very little bit. Again, just to bring these two images together. And I think somewhere right around in there looks pretty good. Do I want to darken his exposure? Maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, maybe somewhere around there. Now let's go back to the background. And let's play with the background. Let's play with the exposure. Do I want a little bit darker? Yeah, maybe just a little bit darker. And how about the saturation? Do we want more saturation? Nope, I definitely don't want more. But I may want to take the saturation back slightly. Just a little tiny wee bit. Maybe to around like a minus two. I think that looks pretty good right there. And so far, so good. Um, I think I'm going to settle with it f at this point for now. Like I said, it's probably not perfect, but you get the idea. I'm just showing you how you can work with the background and the foreground. But we're going to say, for now, for this tutorial, that's good enough. Now let's take a look at the mask and see if there's any issues. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Now if we look at the koala here, we can see he's masked in really nice, all his little hairs and everything. Everything's looking good. Missed the little spot down here. And all I need to do is get my green brush and just give it a little tap right there. And that cleans that right up. A little tap right there. And then just go around your mask and see if anything needs corrected. And we can take a look. I'm not sure about this claw right here. So let's take a look at the original and see, okay, what that's doing right in there. Okay, now let's go back to the keep. Back to the original one more time. Whoops, that's the mask, sorry. Let's go back to the original, maybe right here. Okay, so let me go back to the keep. Maybe just right in here. Paint that one time. There we go, and that fixes that right up. Looks pretty good. Let me zoom back out. And now let's go to refine. There's just a little... On the edge here, it just might it might have a slight little halo here and here. So if we go to the refine and let's take the foreground recovery and move it to the right. And you see, see how that's cleaning itself up right there. Let me move it a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm satisfied. So what we need to do now is save this. So come down here to apply, click on apply. And we're given two options, either transparent, that would send this back as a, as a layer mask or composite. It would send it back to Photoshop as a composited image and we want composite. So just click composite and that will send us right back into Photoshop. And there we go. We started out with this image right here and then we uh, composited the... Uh, new background onto the image, and now we have this image. So let's go ahead and zoom in around the koala bear, and you can see, you can see, look at the really nice job it did on the hair. All the little hairs are intact. It did a really great job, you know, so I'm really happy with this, and I really like Mask AI. It's quick, it's easy, and there you go.
Well, there it is, uh, Topaz Mask AI. Uh, it's a really simple and fast uh, piece of software to use. I really enjoy it, and I love the fact that I can composite right inside of Mask AI. It makes it really simple for bringing your uh, two images together into a composite, which is really nice. I used to do this in Photoshop, but I find with Mask AI, it's a lot quicker, it's easier, and I love the blur background feature. It's really nice. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly.